Hey guys, Christ169 here coming to you with another upload. It is 526. I'm sitting outside Clark's at a club, ready to go get my gym on. Um, before I do that, this is about um, the nerd video, Is It Worth It? Season 1, Episode 4. And this title is going to be about physical versus digital bit distribution. Um, is it worth to buy physical or is it worth to buy digital? And this video here will be a short video because it's kind of be a short topic. This one here, season four, I mean episode four, become a short topic video. Because really, it's been going on for the last, since 10 years now. Well, actually, nine years. Back in 2015, the uh, digital, uh, uh, digital distribution rose about 53% over physical sales of games. Now, that did include DVD purchases, movies too as well. If you only take games out of it, it's probably about 25%. Now, 25% you know, doesn't seem like a whole lot. And really, it's not a whole lot. But if you break it down brass tax wise it's a good chunk of change that is there. 25% of anything is, is a good amount. 25% law, 25% gain, 25%, you know, whatever, is considered a big marginal, big margin, or a good margin, anyway. So, out of 52% of 2015, of all the digital distribution sales, let's say 25% of that was gaming. It didn't really break it down that much. I mean, their 25% were actually media and music, music and videos. So, or 26% or whatever, whatever it is. The point being is this, guys. Digital distribution has taken off way before 2015. And when I talked about my live stream episode, episode 3, with live services, this kind of goes into the live service category, but not because it's kind of separate. Because... The games you're buying digitally can be live or single player only experiences. Like The Witcher 3, Spider Man, Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West. Um, GTA 5 is a hybrid. Call of Duty is a hybrid, somewhat. Uh, Halo is a hybrid. Um, uh, Borderlands is kind of its thing. Um, live service games more like Helldivers 2, live service only online. Um, Apex Legends only online. You could probably play bot mode. You could probably play against bots and Helldivers 2 and probably <laughs> Apex Legends. Um, Apex Legends. But for purposes of this video of uh, digital, most games are digital because they're more convenient. And why is that? Why is it more convenient to buy a game digitally than buy physically? Really, it's very really simple. A, a lot of places ain't selling games anymore physically. Walmart and Best Buy are getting out of the game market within the next this next quarter or, 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 or second quarter. I, I think they pushed it back a little more because especially Walmart having trouble, you know, not having trouble trying to get rid of the games because people are not buying games much anymore. So physical aspect is good if you're a game collector but even those guys are, are, are getting out of it like uh, uh, RGB 285 somebody that I watch all the time you know all the guys I mentioned people I mentioned are subscribed down below I'm subscribed to all of them he used to have a big collection of games sold out because he didn't know collect anymore because collecting games is kind of useless nowadays my I know I have more games on my Steam library than I ever had on my Xbox or PlayStation consoles, you know, physically, or even Switch. I have two games on my Switch. Um, Legend of Zelda, that one um, overhead view game was called. Um, and a game I got for Christmas 2019 with the Switch, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's the only game I'll not, you know, I'll not trade in. I'll trade in the other game. But I like both of them, so I don't trade them in. But the one I got, Mario Kart 8, I don't trade in. And it's a physical game. Because it's what a fan bought me for Christmas 2019 when I got that Switch. So, it's to me, 
it, it's sentimental value to me. That's why I don't get rid of it. Um, but then, but it doesn't mean that you know you not can't buy it digitally then get rid of the physical one. You know, I could if it's cheap enough buy it on there and then trade that one in. But why would I do that? So, but people will buy two games. People out there will buy a physical copy and digital copy of games. It's fine, but it's kind of crazy, but whatever, right? But I think nowadays, game collecting is, is you know, be kind of uh, going on a downward slope. <clears throat> um, it's no longer being looked at as being profitable anymore. Collecting games, no, granted, no, it, it's not going the way of the Bitcoin bust, even though Bitcoin is still at $50,000 or 50000 Bitcoin currency or $1,000, whatever it is. So it's still pretty profitable, somewhat. But it's not as profitable as it once was back in the day. GameStop, like I said before, GameStop was the biggest uh, conglomerate to use physical games. They sold games 100%. And when they got rid of that stuff and started going to Tinker Toys and Trinket Crap and book bags and pods and everything else, it's because they had to. Because they lost 80% of their sales were used games. And now you can go buy a game on Steam for like uh, Titanfall 2 at one time for $4 or 5 bucks, And get all the stuff you want. Play it all you want. Love it all you want. Then turn around and you have it forever. Because, you know, it, it's an online game that has a campaign. Not a bad campaign. Well, a little weak, but not a bad campaign. Uh, I, I play worse. But um, it's still, 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 still a good campaign. But there is issues with that, with physical games, especially the the fact that a lot of people are not a lot of people are not, are not collecting them anymore, and the fact that Microsoft come out and say you no, know, they're no longer doing they're, they're going away from physical media, and they have said this many times. So, you no, know, them getting rid of their uh, uh, physical. Them getting rid of their uh, physical departments in Activision and Blizzard and Microsoft Studios is expediting the forward notion of having <coughs> of having um, their digital distribution be more and more and more in line. To what the portfolio really is. See, Microsoft wanted to go digital hardcore a long time ago. 2015, 2013, they came out with the Xbox One. Okay, and it was a no, 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 no in the reveal. DRM only, disc was glorified installation disc, you put them in there, downloads it off the hard drive, you put the game where you can throw it away if you want to, or put it up and think, you know, the disc is a glorified installation disc with a key code, and that's it. And it's so now we're doing it right now. More people now are buying games off or downloading games off of Game Pass and not paying for the game personally. You, you're paying 50 bucks for three months and getting tons of games, good or not. Where back six, seven, eight years ago, 10 years ago, you had to buy every game 60 bucks or not, 50 bucks or not. To find out if the game was good or not. Now you get to try them out. Oh, I like the game, and you can you can actually buy it and keep it, or download it to your hard drive and keep your SSD. We you call it. But you couldn't do that ten years ago, a uh, uh, twelve years ago, fifteen years ago. Technically, not not not, not uh, and I just can't now. But I think it's because people are embracing digital that it's becoming more and more of a necessity. Other than just oh well, just a fad. No, it's necessity now. We have phones that stuff on them. We have movies. We have food in our phones. I have YouTube app. I have YouTube TV. That is a streaming service uh, 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 through Google. It's the best thing that I didn't know Google uh, Google Act ever had. You know, the best thing that they ever had. I have all the channels I want. I I, I can watch it on my phone right here. And play it through my Bluetooth speaker of my car if I wanted to. It's very convenient. 
I, 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 no, I don't have to lug around a big black box around to watch TV anymore. That's the word why gaming just came to. Look at music. It started way back in 2008, 2006 with Napster and all their problems. Now, downloading music off of not, not the internet is watching on YouTube is just better and faster. So, I mean, guys, to say that, you know, digital distribution is bad. It's like saying that one fire, you know, you know, one fire burn is worse than the other fire burn. Both fire burns suck. But a certain degree of the fire burn. Of course, second degree, third degree. But you really can't put the digital the, the digital distribution in that same analogy. Because if you want physical games, you can still do it on PlayStation and Nintendo for a while anyway. Xbox came out and said, no, they're not going to do it anymore. And they're slowly getting away. They're slowly getting away from physical media. This would make consoles have to have something that you can, you know, have something that um, you have to buy. That's the way it is, folks. You have to have something that uh, 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 you have to buy to keep you, to keep you from going somewhere else. When TVs have it, oh, I want the Sam's Club. Uh, they have a, a TV with, with built-in Xbox Live Game Pass. They have DVD player, Blu-ray players. They have just streaming boxes with everything on it now. So, so why do we think that Microsoft won't go? Or Sony, or Nintendo. Look at Steam. They've been doing you no know, digital for the last 20 years. Probably longer than that. Because people uh, on PC are used to it and they have no problem with it. <laughs> console gamers, console, console gamers have been fighting a war between that, and console gamers uh, um, sadly have lost the war. The, the digital distribution war machine came through and just changed everything. Worse or no, for good or worse, whatever, good or bad, whatever. But I think digital distribution is not bad. Is is it worth it? Digital, digital distribution? Yes. Is physical worth it? Yes. But they both have caveats. Especially in the realm of Sony, where a lot of people have lost a lot of games they paid for or erased off their consoles. Well, it was a glitch or an update, they said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how much that how much that glitch gonna cost Sony? You know, or the or the Microsoft issue where a lot of people had their accounts their accounts banned or accounts were becoming uh, suspended for things that they didn't do because people were saying that this person was 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 rude on here, and so some some people didn't know didn't play and play the games in two three days or a week. Um, or Ubisoft, you know, or Ubisoft, you know, erasing your digital account with your games. It has happened. So if you haven't played over a year, you might want to log into the Ubisoft account and see what's going on there. So digital does have its problems. But physical is no better off either. You know, a uh, physical game you buy doesn't work. And it has happened. So, I mean, it's either way, both of them are pretty rough. But I think digital takes the cake when it comes to having difficulty because it depends on individual environments. It's not depending upon, well, this person here has this, this person has this, person has that internet. Is it, this internet better than this? Internet's crappier than this. I think that, and I think this internet's worse. This internet's better. It's based upon. More than just that, it's based upon the fact that you got people out there who don't understand, who don't understand the basic that it's not all about the internet, but internet does drive it because you know without internet you can't download anything. Even you now, even nowadays, even nowadays, bad internet. You now you can't even log in anything. People having problems logging into email with bad internet. 
So how are you going to do bad internet? Now, half our country still has bad internet. But slowly it's getting better with this uh, SpaceX internet coming up. And people were able to get the internet about 50 to 75 down. And that's decent. You need, you need about 50 megabytes down to really get, enjoy gaming. Now, I had 10 down, 10 up. I had fiber optics a long time ago. And that was sort of good back then. But now I think I have 300 down and 12 up with spec. So, I mean, it's not terrible, folks. It just depends on what you're doing. Because both games, physical or digital, you have to download anyway. And with games like, I think it was Call of Duty. No, then I think it was Battlefield and Call of Duty. They had only 20 megabytes on the disc. The rest you had to download. Like, when you buy the damn game down, they digitally then. The disc just spinning um, just to activate the code to allow to play the game. So you're using your spin, uh, 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 I, um, your disk drive to access a game that's not even on the disc. And it is on the Xbox side and PlayStation side too as well. On Battlefield 2042 and Call of Duty. Both games only had maybe less, I mean, maybe a gig or less than a gig on the disc. And you had to, you had to download entire game off the interwebs. <sighs> Blows your mind to realize that they're wasting all this money and time buying games to have download anyway. So physical is a dead breed. It's still there, but it's no longer the, the full, full of life that it used to be. But it doesn't mean that, you know, doesn't mean, you know, a digital is, uh, the so great thing that we need to praise it. No. Because you know, you know, even digital has flaws. I downloaded the game three times to get to work. Because it kept having bad digital issues. And my internet strength was strong I, 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 and I could check it. So obviously the game was having issues. Cyberpunk was the biggest one. But it works now, so it's good. So... But like I said, guys, it's, it's uh, you know, to his or her their own. Uh, what do you think? Are you a fan of physical or more digital? Or do you like both? Or do you like one or the other? Comment down below. Once again, like, subscribe, and in case you ring that bell. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.